guys, welcome to Book Streams for Tweens with the Fulton County Library System. Today I'm going to share with you an awesome book, Becoming Muhammad Ali by James Patterson and Kwame Alexander. So stick around. <music> Welcome back. My name is Miss Adrian, and I am the Youth Services Librarian at the Adams Park Branch in Southwest Atlanta. Today, I am going to share with you an awesome book that I think you guys are all going to love. Becoming Muhammad Ali by James Patterson and Kwame Alexander. Let me tell you about it. Um, the book is a fictional biography about the boxer Muhammad Ali before he became famous. And it centers around Cassius Clay, that was Muhammad Ali's name before he became a Muslim, and his best friend Lucky. Um, the book is written in um, prose and it is written in free verse poetry. Um, the prose part is narrated by Lucky and the poetry part is narrated by Cassius. And um, the, the book is structured in um, rounds, like boxing rounds, instead of chapters. So there are 10 rounds in the book and the nine, the first nine rounds um, describe um, Cassius's young life in the West End neighborhood of Louisville, Kentucky, where he grew up. And it, um, it shares, um, um, you know, some of his experiences um, growing up, his relationship with his parents. Um, he had um, some learning disabilities um, and didn't like school. It also, um, he also talked about um, segregation and bullying and what made him decide to become a boxer. And it, it also talks about um, his um, relationship with his grandfather and some beloved words that his grandfather taught him that was really helpful when he, when he became a boxer. Um, and then the 10th round discusses uh, when Muhammad Ali became the heavyweight chapter of the world um, and it talks about his guiding beliefs of injustice and his decision to practice Islam. And the black and white illustrations in the book are awesome. So let me go ahead and read a passage. I will show you um, some pictures and um, you can decide if that's, this is the book for you. The wonders and woes in this novel are true, or based on truth, and real things that happened to real people, or real people we imagined to be true for real. Round one, and this is how, this is what the prose part looks like. This is, this is Lucky's part. I remember everything. You probably would have too. That night was a piece of American history. The Clay family phone was dusky black with a rotary dial and it sat on a wooden table in the neat as a pin living room of the little house on Grand Avenue in Louisville, Kentucky. Some 20 of us were crammed like sardines into the room waiting for that phone to ring. Waiting, waiting, waiting for Cassius to call home. It was a February night in 1958, and I remember like it was yesterday. My best friend Cassius was 300 miles north in Chicago, and that night he was fighting for a championship in the Golden Gloves Boxing Tournament. Cassius wasn't a professional yet, just an amateur. Tall but a little skinny and a lot raw. Only 16 years old like me. And here is a one of the pictures. Awesome. I'm Lucius, by the way. Nice to meet you. You can call me Lucky. All my friends do. Cassius had already won plenty of bouts 
all over Kentucky, but the Chicago Golden Gloves was the big time. He won there, and we all knew he would. It would be lights out. From now on, people everywhere would know the name Cassius Clay. And so we waited for the phone to ring. I remember that living room was so packed with family and friends and neighbors that we could hardly move. The smell of roast chicken and sweet potato pie and cheese grits mixed with the smell of paint and turpentine. Mr. Clay, Cassius's dad, who everybody called Cash, was a sign and billboard painter and he kept his work supplies right there in the house. Mrs. Clay, somebody called out, when that boy of yours gets famous, he ought to buy you a bigger house. Oh, you know he will, she answered. Then she looked right at me. Isn't that right, Lucius? Yes, ma'am, you know it is. Cassius promised you a big house. I remember that Mrs. Clay was too nervous to eat, but she wasn't too nervous to talk about how proud she was. My Cassius did everything early. She was saying to a group of ladies, he crawled early, talked early, walked early, walked on his toes like a dancer. The ladies all laughed as if they hadn't heard that a story a hundred times before, but Mrs. Clay just couldn't help it. Cassius always told her he was bound to be the greatest with a capital G, and she believed it with all her heart. So did I. So did everybody in Louisville's West End. Come on, phone, ring, phone, ring-a-ding. The men and boys around the room, including Cassius's little brother, Rudy, looked at one another with big grins and made punching motions with their fists. The big fight should be over by now. Under those bright lights in the middle of that huge Chicago stadium, Cassius would be standing tall in the ring with one hand over his head like always his opponent next to him with head bowed down in defeat. Then the phone rang. It was Cassius with news about the fight and he told it like only, only Cassius could tell a story. Okay, let me show you. This is the, pro, this is the poetry part that, Cassi, that Cassius narrates. Okay. Before the fight, a reporter asked me if I thought I was as good as Joe Lewis or Sugar Ray was at my age, and I told him, I don't think I'm as good, I'm better. Got more flow than Joe, more slay than Ray, I'm sweeter, stronger, and faster. As a matter of fact, I'm so fast, I can't even catch myself. Doesn't but... Doesn't Becoming Muhammad Ali sound like a great book? Don't you want to learn more about Muhammad Ali's life as Cassius Clay, his family and friends, and rise in boxing? Why not check out Becoming Muhammad Ali and find out for yourself? It's available for curbside pickup, um, an ebook on overdrive and um, ebook and audiobooks at eReads Kids. All available using your library card at focolibrary.org. Now don't forget to submit your fan art and you'll see the information in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and come back tomorrow and we'll learn about the authors of Becoming Muhammad Ali, James Patterson and Kwame Alexander. And I will also share with you some cool facts about the illustrator, Dawad Aniobile. See you then.